Hello YouTube. Well, here it is. After the upgrade, I'm actually amazed at how it came out. Um, I have a few tweaks I still need to do. Um, I want to replace uh, a few bearings on it um, uh, preemptively before they fail, but just try and uh, eradicate the last few uh, squeaks here and there. But I'm actually surprised at how good um, this project worked out, um, how well this project worked out. It's um, so I'm gonna say that the the big um, the big feature of the upgrade, um, the the killer app, if you will, is the uh, magnetic um, build surface. Um, just being able to um, number one remove uh, and and you know flex a steel sheet which will pop the part off instead of having to, uh, you know, use a hammer or a spatula is just, um, I think it's a game changer for 3D printing. And then um, I've got a smooth sheet or a textured sheet. Textured sheet, right now I haven't figured out how to print PLA with it, but for uh, PETG, it really makes a neat surface. Other um, nice to have, I mean, um, well, number one, the, the filament sensor um, has made changing filament so much easier. You just um, you eject the old filament once the hot ends up to temperature, and you, you do that through a menu item. And then uh, when you press in the new filament, it senses it, and it just kind of pulls it in and purges it for you. Um, works very, very well. Uh, the Noctua fan is indeed um, silent. Um, seems to work well there's better breathing um, with uh, you know how the uh, hot end is assembled and you can see the, the cooling uh, fins of the hot end through the part um, so I think that's better the uh, forward cannon fan and new fan shroud puts out a lot of air on the parts and I've noticed for prints that have any bridging or overhangs that are not supported um, they just come out great. Uh, it's amazing. Um, trying to think of what else. I mean, um, the, the wire routing is actually a lot better um, than it was in the Mark II um, and 2S design. Um, so that's worked out well. I've actually printed the new Rambo box, which has more ventilation and uh, better cable, um, more secure cable routing. I haven't installed it yet. Um, this one's working okay. Um, for right now and then um, so I think those are the big advertised features and then for this printer um, during the upgrade switching over to the actual Prusa motors there's one of those 3d printed parts I made with the uh, the printer bot um, printer um, it's a dust cover for the, uh, the rods coming out of the motors to keep gunk out of them and there's another 3D printed part, that upper um, fan uh, mount. I needed to print one that had a little bit more reach to clear the connector of my aftermarket stepper motors. Um, so starting with the uh, Prusa part, I just extended the reach. Um, and that doesn't really get hot at all, believe it or not, even though it's next to the, um, the, the, uh, the hot end, I think with the cooling fan there, and it's on the other side of the, uh, of another uh, PETG part um, from the hot end, and I've checked it after long prints, and it doesn't heat up. So that PLA print is holding up fine and actually working very well. So, um, oh yeah, yeah. And um, as I was going to say, um, I replaced the um, the Z motors with actual Prusa motors, so they have the rods built in. I didn't need to use those couplers. That allowed. Um, oh, and use the actual. Um, the, uh, I forget what it's called, the, the screw fitting. Um, it's sort of a bearing that the threads ride in and attaches to the top of the X parts. I didn't have that before, I had an adapter. So between the couplers and the adapters, I was losing about one to two centimeters of, um, of uh, Z. Um, um, but, you know, I was limited. Um, and uh, that was preventing the printer from reliably doing its XYZ calibration. So um, I, I got a uh, way to do it before so that I could pretty much 
do an XYZ calibration when it was in its uh, Mark II S configuration, but I had to line up the uh, pin to probe exactly with one of the um, bed sensor points, and then it would do it. Um, but it was always a little bit of a nervous, uh, hey, is it going to hit the bed kind of thing. Um, this way, um, with these new Z motors, um, and I don't, you know, yeah, I didn't really have to change anything else. I, I did compile my own firmware because again, I'm using those aftermarket um, sensors for Y and also um, for X. Um, and so they had to be inverted um, in the firmware so that they read properly. But other than that, um, it does the XYZ calibration perfect every single time. Um, and so between all the new features, um, the uh, you know the new Z motors, the, the cable routing being much better, it's actually been a game changer. This uh, printer is running much more smoothly, much more solidly, and the quality of the prints, even though in theory a Mark II should be able to produce the same quality as a Mark uh, 2.5. Um, I don't know if it's the Prusser, Prusa Slicer um, upgrades. I don't know if it's the, the new fan mount, but uh, you know, I, I printed a Benchy and I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see it because I, um, I only had black um, filament um, ready when I, when I did it, but uh, I can actually read the, the nameplate. It says 3D Benchy on the back of the print. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that or not, but, um, and the overhangs are better compared to, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the prints I did in the printer's old configuration. So all told, um, I'm loving the upgrade. Uh, it probably cost me around 250 bucks only because I had to buy the Z motors. Um, Prusa doesn't sell the upgrade kit anymore, so I had to find all the part numbers and order um, things individually. Um, it's not really cost effective, especially like building this printer from scratch only saved me um, because I had a few different vendors and was paying for shipping from everyone. Um, I, you know, it, it's much, much more cost effective if you're going to, uh, if you want a Prusa i3, um, it, it's just better to buy it from Prusa. You can start out with the uh, the Mark III S Plus and for less money than what I've got totally invested now, um, you'll have a brand new printer with a warranty. Everything is just gonna work 100%. Um, for me, um, because I had used um, the actual INC Rambo board, um, like the real Prusa motherboard, um, and uh, you know I used an actual E3D hot end, uh, so I used quality parts where they they counted a meanwhile power supply. Um, for me, uh, I've been able to um, refine this printer, and for the things that I used that were a little bit substandard, I've upgraded them. Um, to the point where I think I've got this thing pretty reliable, knock on wood. But um, but yeah, if you're going to start out from scratch, much more sense to just buy one from Prusa. But um, but yeah, um, if you're nerdy like me, and and you know, I was kind of excited about this because I made it um, you know as close as possible clone wise, with the exception of the wood frame, which I know I've got a lot of guff on it, but um, it is very very stable and works very well. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm loving the printer and glad that I did the upgrade um, and pleasantly surprised with the performance and I'm getting out of it. So I hope you enjoyed watching this and uh, hopefully there's other folks out there that are making their own printer too that may be inspired by this, I don't know. Uh, or maybe there's people laughing at how foolish it was uh, cost effectiveness wise. Like, dude, this guy could have bought a Prusa and a Prusa Mini, probably, you know, all told, maybe, maybe not, maybe not enough to buy, you know, an i3 and a Mini, but, but easily more than the cost of an i3 to have a uh, i3 2.5 versus the three that you'd get. Um, just real quick, what are the features you get with the, um, 
the 3S versus the 2.5, which I've upgraded to here. Um, you get a 24-volt uh, system, so it heats up the heated bed um, more quickly, uh, which will save you time. You get the upgraded um, motherboard, um, which has the, um, what is it called, Trinomatic uh, stepper drivers. I'm probably saying that wrong, but basically it drives the steppers um, a little bit better um, and more silently too. And then uh, you also get, like instead of doing the, uh, the steel rods, uh, the threaded rod um, Y-frame, it's got extruded aluminum, so it's a bit more sturdy of a platform. Um, but yeah, I think print quality wise, once they're assembled, it's probably, if you already had a 2.5, is it worth um, buying a three if you're expecting to see any upgrades? Well, maybe. I think it can print uh, a little bit better and it's probably able to print a lot faster, but um, you know, I don't know. It depends on what you're doing, right? For me, um, you know, I'm not running a, a business or generating parts full time or anything. I think this is gonna be um, completely adequate. But um, anyways, um, thanks for uh, watching. If you made it to the end of this ramble, I appreciate you uh, for watching this stuff. and. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want to see more um, 3D printing. Uh, be happy to do it. Anyways, talk to you later.